somebody asked if I always get the source code from clients during pen tests. Um, and yes, most of the time we actually get the source code because we believe it's, um, it's wasting time otherwise. So we usually recommend clients share as much information as you're comfortable with and as you want. Generally, the more information we have, the better it is for us. Sometimes uh, there can be too much information. Sometimes, you know, it's a it's a massive and massive application where reading the code is just unrealistic. Um, then sometimes it's overwhelming. It doesn't really benefit us. But yeah, most of the time we tell the clients, you know, we can waste one or two days just brute forcing and deer busting stuff, but you pay for it. So, you know, you can also just give us the source code and the information and we will be much more efficient. It will be much cheaper for you. And I think that's a good argument and an easy argument to make. I mean, if the client feels uncomfortable giving out the source code, that also happens. And it's obviously um, understandable when they are scared to hand out their source code to a different company. Of course, you know, NDAs are signed and everything. So obviously we we uh, make sure this code, you know, doesn't leak hopefully. Um, so some companies um, obviously don't want to do that. They, they fear for their intellectual property and stuff, but then they have to pay more because we just need more time to brute force and stuff. And, you know, because it's then a lot of guessing, we might just miss a very critical route um, because it was not um, easily um, discoverable. So, you know, it's it's something that we recommend. And I personally also generally say, um, give out the source code. And again, that's why what I find, you know, bug bounty so annoying. A lot of bug bounties, I believe, you know, I'm, I'm not super experienced with bug bounties, just like from hearing what people say. So I'm, I'm careful with that. I, I don't have the personal experience here. But from what I heard, a lot of very successful bug bounty hunters are just very good at finding new services or old services or services that haven't been really tested yet just because they have good lists and have their scanners running all the time just finding weird endpoints and stuff like this. And, uh, you know, so the, their main work is finding hidden stuff that the company theoretically knows about. They just have to look into their web server configs. They just have to look into um, their, the, the routes they defined in their source code and they would all know this. So uh, you have this massive amount of work and scanning work that is being done from the outside, even though the company could just hand out this information you know, it takes a little bit of time depending on how large applications to gather this information, but generally um, it's it's absolutely doable and usually a lot faster than uh, and, and, and a lot more accurate than when somebody's scanning from the outside. Um, yeah, so I feel very strongly about this. I get really frustrated when I have to deer bust and scan stuff because it, I find this just such a waste of my time. Um, and in the end, the, the money of the client but again, if you have fun scanning, you know, if you just need more work, if you don't have enough work, you you don't have to tell them that and they can pay for the additional days that re, uh, is required for scanning. And of course, when you have good scanning tools and you have everything set up, then it's also pretty, you know, chill. You just let it run and you watch some some YouTube videos on the side.